Hi, I'm Peter Sisson, founder and CEO of Talk To Me, and I'm here to tell you about Line 2 for iPhone. After you've installed Line 2, it appears on your desktop. In my case, I've moved it down to be next to my regular iPhone dialer. When you start it for the first time, it gives you the option of picking a new number and setting up a new account, or you can use an existing Talk To Me account. When it first starts, it'll show offline until it connects. It'll also show that if you have an incorrect password. Once it connects, the word offline goes away, and you'll see it's pretty much like the standard iPhone dialer. It has a dialing pad, it has contacts, has recent calls, has visual voicemail, and it has settings. Within settings, there's lots of things you can do, but let's focus on calling preferences, which you select here. Once you select that, you'll see you have three choices, VoIP, Cellular Direct, which uses cell minutes, or Cellular Callback, which also uses cell minutes. If you want to use VoIP, which sends your calls over the Internet, you need to either enable 3G calling here, which sends them over the 3G data network provided by AT&T, or you have to make sure that Wi-Fi is connected. You do that through the general iPhone settings. So let's place a VoIP call. You can be sure VoIP is working because you'll see the VoIP cloud in the bottom left of the dial pad. Once you've placed the call, it looks and acts pretty much like a regular cell phone call. We'll talk more about that later in this presentation. Cellular Direct is the recommended way to make calls when you don't have access to Wi-Fi or a reliable 3G network. When you place a call via Cellular Direct, you'll see the cell indicator in the lower left hand corner and then you'll see your iPhone dialer will start and it'll be placing a call to a funny number but don't worry if you just lift the phone to your ear you'll hear ringing and the person that you called will see a caller ID of your line 2 number not your iPhone number. Third call type is cellular callback in that case when you place a call you'll see a screen that says waiting for callback and what happens is our service will call you on your regular iPhone number and then once you answer it it'll connect the call to the person that you're calling. If you're connected via VoIP but want to place the call via cellular perhaps you're walking out the door you can change it on a one-time basis just by clicking the button in the lower left and it'll change it to cell and then it'll reset back to VoIP on your next call. If you ever need a refresher on all of this, just go into the Calling Preferences and click the Help tab, and a help screen will pop up explaining everything I've just told you. So now let's talk about what happens if you receive a call. If someone calls your Line 2 number and the app is not running, or perhaps it's running but not connected, or connected but not connected via VoIP, then the call will come in over your regular iPhone number. The person will have called your Line 2 number, but it will come to you over your iPhone number. You can answer it, and it's a regular cellular call. To receive a call over VoIP, you must make sure the app is running and the VoIP status indicator is showing. If VoIP is enabled, it will also be displayed here within settings. The next release of Line 2 will have push notifications so that you'll be able to receive calls even if the app isn't running. When a call comes in over VoIP, you can forward it, which will send it to your cell phone over cellular rather than VoIP, or to other forwarding numbers you may have set. Click voicemail to send it directly to voicemail, or click answer to answer it. Once you've answered it, you can do things like mute it, show a keypad, put it on speaker, add callers, put it on hold, and even transfer it to other people. If a call comes into your Line 2 number while you're on a Line 2 VoIP call, you have the option to send that call to voicemail or hold your existing call and answer the new call or end your existing call and answer the new call. So let's say I click hold and answer. You can see my original call is on hold and my new call is active. I can switch back to the new call and I can even select merge calls to create an instant conference between all three of us without using any cellular minutes. I can click Add Call again to add additional people. Here I've clicked Add Call and I can add from contacts, from recents, or by dialing a new number. So let's dial a new number. Once it connects, 
I see my conference is on hold and my new call is live, I can click Merge Calls again. And now all three callers are in the call. I click the Information button next to the word Conference and I can see who's on the call. I can add up to 20 people to a single conference, all using VoIP and not burning a single cellular minute. This conference is hosted at our server, so even if you drop off, others can continue talking. One more thing. What happens if you get a call to your regular iPhone number when you're on a VoIP call or a conference call like this? Well, as long as you decline that call rather than answering it, your Line 2 call will be restored. We are the first and only VoIP app on the iPhone that recovers calls in this situation. A couple other things before we wrap up. You have two sets of contacts within Line 2, your iPhone contacts, as well as Talk to Me contacts, which you can upload at the Talk to Me website from other sources like Outlook or Gmail. Whenever you add to contacts within Line 2, say from call history or voicemail, you can choose whether to add it to your iPhone contacts or your Talk to Me contacts. You can also export your iPhone contacts to your Talk to Me contacts. This enables advanced features like different call handling for different callers and a call announce feature that recognizes who's calling rather than asking them their name. A few final things you should know. If you make a cellular direct call, after the call is over, Line 2 will not restart. To fix that, enable Restart After Call. When you place the call, the only difference will be that you'll see a pop-up asking you to call that funny number again. Just click call and everything will work fine. The call will go through and then when it's done, line two will restart rather than the iPhone dialer. Okay, that's about it. Your trial lasts for 30 days. When it's done, within settings, click activate and you'll see you have two choices. You can sign up for our monthly subscription. It's $14.95 a month, billed to your card automatically gives you unlimited U.S. Canada calling and very inexpensive international calling starting at two cents a minute. There are no cancellation fees. You can cancel any time. If you're not ready for a subscription, you can buy an extra month with an in-app purchase of $19.95. It is more expensive and does not allow international calling, but it allows you to do the purchase in-app. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have additional questions, just click the Contact Us link on the TalkToMe.com homepage for live customer support and access to our knowledge base. Bye for now.